Hello, everyone. My name is Dick Link, the trained professional. I speak for the voices in my head when I say, until next time, fairly well. Bye, everyone. That was a quick episode, wasn't it? Ha, ha, ha. I guess we can't skip over this. Time to meet Vec. Boom. There he is. God damn it. Welcome back to Blackgate. Uh, we are doing the police officer run. This is the 0 0.7 update. Uh, there's police officers outside, I guess. But, um... Yeah, people said that the uh, Andrus route got updated in the 0 0.68 or 6.9 update, but since, uh, you know, when I went from 0 0.66 to the one after that, that one kept crashing on me, so uh, went straight to 0 0.7, and I already started a new route, so uh, I guess not! I guess not! Okay, so there's Librarian, Bartender... Alan's route was suggested, but, and I technically could still do that. Technically could. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. Because uh, someone said that's the best one to start off with. Originally, I was going to try to do the dog. Uh, and then I stupidly went for Gruff. But someone said the Alan route was the best. And no one's asked for the police route. But someone has asked for the bartender route. So, I guess we'll go for bartender. So, the bar, huh? Not the worst place, but you're definitely alone out there. It seems you are rather charismatic. This is great for working in a bar. Your creature skills are will be most valuable. You should go get your things. Oh, and Arthur the Gruff will escort you to your new home. There is a cabin at the end of the edge of town. It's modest and allows for privacy. I believe the rest of this shit is, well, stuff we've already read, so let's skip this shit right away. Now, in the last one I said I kind of like it, and I don't want to be rude to anyone. Could be worse, this is ridiculous. I like it, okay? I just do. So, I like it. Now, I don't know what these do. Trapped, depressed, confused, hopeful, lost, energetic. I don't know if a difference makes in any of them. Um, last time I said trapped... So I'm going to say confused this time. What just happened? No, seriously, what just happened? What just happened? How does this place exist? I need to figure out what this place is. That will lead me to an exit. I will search for clues. Search for clues tomorrow, but first sleep. No. Okay, now we're back. We had our shower. Uh, we woke up. It's the next day. I pick up the old radial dial phone and begin to input the number for the bar. It is almost painstakingly slow, and the clicking dial does not help. It begins to ring and is quickly answered. Hunt this bar! We ain't open yet! What you want? Uh, this is Zach. I'm supposed to start work- start to work at the bar? You're that human, right? Oh, damn, I guess that's true. I can tell it, the the I can tell she moves the phone away. Oh, that was a girl. <laughs> hey, yo, what you trying to say? You assuming my gender? You assuming my gender? Gender? Hey, Cody, it's true. What? Yeah, yeah. Tonight. So, uh, when do I start? You start right now. Come on over to the bar. This is exciting news. Whoever that was just hung up the phone, and I'm left with the hum of a disconnected line. Alright, that is a strange first impression. I need to head out the door and find the bear. <laughs> the bear! Oh, Jesus. I need to stick to the path and take a weapon. Okay, we already know this shit. It's spooky scary! Now, last time, I tried to ask someone for directions, and the fucking police officer guy tried to get at me. So let's just try to find it on our own. I ignore the figure and search the town. My instincts tell me that it might be the center of town. I try to find signs like Main Street, but it's very rare to actually find a street sign. I really need to improve their infrastructure. It takes a little bit of guessing, but I find a brick building and the neon sign that says Hunter's Bar. It actually says Hunt's Bah. Some of the lights are... It's the Bah! <laughs> what you expect? It's the Bah! What you expect? This is shine for the Bah! Hey! Well, here I am. I need to prepare myself for meeting whoever it was I spoke over the phone with. Spoke with over the phone. I walk up to the door, open it, and enter. The bar is quite empty, eerily empty and messy. I step inside and look around. There are empty bottles and glasses knocked over on tables. Their contents have dried and left behind a gross residue. 
Food scraps are on the floor. I hear shuffling in the back of the bag. Um, I guess call out like, Hey, uh, am I going to try shot sweeping? Hello? Oh, it's a fresh one. Be right back, Cody. Gotta welcome a new worker. I don't know who it is. The back door swings open and out pops a large minotaur. My instinct is to run, but she looks very pleasant. Oh, yeah, you do look pleasant. Hey, little thing, you're a human, huh? No matter, they say I'm part human, or I like to boast that I am. If I am, that, that makes us related. I only did that because of the whole bah thing. <laughs> I'm hell. Well, that's nice to meet you, hell. Helly, hell, hail. So it's so nice to meet you. She stretches out her hand. I grab hold and shake it. Her hand feels rough and calloused. She leaves a faint smell of fresh dirt as she moves away. Interesting. You're so much smaller than I thought you'd be. No matter, big things come in small packages. I hell. My name's Zach. <laughs> well, aren't you sweet? Hey, Cody, we got a nice one here. Well, and tell it to clean. <laughs> Oh yeah, as you can see, it's a bit messy here. Alan is still has to show up. He's a late riser. Quick question: Why is it still dark? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't know yet. It is always dark here. I hope you don't mind the gloomy atmosphere that and the mess the place is in. Could you help us and help? Could you help us out and clean this place up? I'm helping Cody in the back and getting this ready for we'll make some grub. Of course, that's my job now. Yeah, sure. Just bring empty bottles to the trash and bring the dishes to Cody back there. Please don't give me any more work than I already have. What is your plate too full? I hate your puns. <laughs> Hell leans in and whispers to me. He likes them. He would appreciate it if you made some puns of your own. What are you telling it? Oh, nothing. Get back to work. Nothing is the equivalent to saying the worst thing possible. Either way, they seem nice enough and like to joke around. I get to work and pick up empty bottle after empty bottle of alcohol. Some of the containers are huge and some are miniature. I guess you need to cater to your customers. Plates have remnants of food. I think it's food. I have no way of identifying what it is. The colors are strange and the consistency is like slime. I shouldn't dwell on it. I don't want to get nauseous. I take the stack of dirty dishes and walk into the kitchen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Push open a swinging door and I see a creature that I'm guessing is Cody. He looks like he came out of the Black Lagoon. I hate sea creatures. They tend to freak me out and he freaks me out. Reluctantly, I ask him, uh, where do I put these? The street sharks. The street shark knockoff doesn't answer me. Hell rounds the corner and politely helps. He isn't too great with the new folks, so Cody, this is Zach. Zach, this here's Cody. Hello introduces me to Cody by just pointing. He's busy preparing all sorts of food and meals and he doesn't look up. He has so many different meal meats and vegetables hanging around. On the cutting board, there are things I've never even seen before. Food for aliens, mush, tablets, weird three-eyed fish, and a Lunchables with a tube yogurt pack. <laughs> all weird things. All of this is unnatural all of this unnatural food is making me hungry. Cody put the human to work. Oh, and be nice for once, will ya? You know how wicked awesome Zack is, so use him to help you out. Zack, I'm gonna get s go get some things in order. Just do as he says. Hell picks up some trash and heads out back. I stand alone in a messy kitchen with a sea monster. There are large knives, forks, swords, machetes, and other cookware. So, uh, Cody, do you need help with anything? His dark black eyes look right at me. He points at a rather large knife at a pile of green vegetables. Got that up. <laughs> it is just a bunch of vegetables, nothing I can't handle. I go to grab a knife and begin to cut. Not that knife, use the other knife. That one's for gluten free. <laughs> wow. That, that. I consider it. Grab a different knife. Not that one either, that's for carnivores. The one with the green handle. I grab the green handled knife and begin to chop. There is a whole line of vegetables, plants, herbs, and other green things that I need to cut up. 
as I'm chopping away, I guess I should speak up, get to know Cody. Ellie says that you don't really like the new folk. I'm sorry if I'm intruding. It's not that I don't like new citizens, it's just you're a human. I don't know what you'll do to the first few nights here. So you're skeptical? Very. Well, I mean, asking questions is okay. You're not b berating him. You're like, what you mean you better than this? So, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, can I ask you a question to get to know you? Fine. What are you? That's not cool. What is in? What is this town? What do you cook? How is work going? What do you cook? Sure, I mean, that's nice. Cody, what do you cook? Are you serious? Look around you, I cook everything! I'd learn every little detail of every meal. I wish there were more simple orders. My favorite orders are salads. They're the easiest to prepare. You, you have no idea how many allergies there are and different taste preferences. Oh, jeez. Sounds like a lot. If you only knew how important it is to know what you're cooking and who you're cooking for. Well, what do you like to eat? Anything. You? Depends on my mood. You best not be a picky eater. You can't afford to be one here. I figured as much. Thanks for the heads up. The worst is when the competition is running. Everyone wants to give me things to cook. Competition? Yep. I finished chopping up what is lined up for me. It was pretty fun and mindless. That should be enough for now. Go to hell! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I go out to the main bar area where hell is cleaning. I, I hope that's not like helly or... He, I don't... Because it just looks like hell with like an extra E. <laughs> She's pushing tables together and moving chairs. That catch! Hell throws a broom to me. Catch it? Fuck. I catch the broom, and Hell grins. I guess I don't I don't need to ask what I have to do. I start to sweep. He seems like you're quite the catcher! What's that supposed to mean? I keep sweeping up broken glass and globs of food. Finally! Someone who just acts like they should! What do you mean? I have to micromanage the rest of the staff here. If I don't have to micromanage you, I think we'll be in great shape. So tell me, Zach, how's you holding up? I mean, I'm doing okay. I mean, compared to the other routes, no one's fucking bitched me out yet, so I'm good. Doing good, no complaints so far. Are you sure? This can all be really jarring for you. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it is, but I don't let it get to me. Don't bottle that stuff up. We both know what happens when you shake a bottle of beer. I don't want you exploding all over this place. I won't, I think. Well, if you need to talk, I'm all ears and horns. Thanks. Actually, can I ask you a question? I'm an open book. Are you a minotaur? What is this town? Who is the bouncer? How is work going? Um. Well, I mean, getting to know... uh. Her, I guess, just how is it going? Ugh. So, how's work going here? Always booming, always a chore. I could, I can never get enough done to make a serious dent without Alan mucking it up. Is Alan that bad? As a wolf, nah, he's kind of nice. As a business professional, he's horrible. He doesn't know or care about money. So, Alan's a wolf. Got it. Yeah, he would rather drink it away than take this place as what it take this place as what it is meant to be. This place is supposed to give the hard workers of this town a place to relax. If you can't relax while having some food and drink, then what do you got? You got a tense town with no problem with more problems than a field uh, with gopher infestation. God damn! I see. Hey, don't get me wrong, there, Bucko. Having you around means we can finally get this place in shape. Just don't end up like Alan or Cody. I can't handle all the negativity. This place, it gets to you after a while. Word of advice, don't let it get you down. I haven't let it get the best of me, and I need a friend who can make it, make it there with me. Who can make it there with me. You're a human, so you can, should be able to beat it. I hope for you and all. No pressure, right? Well, not if you don't need any. <laughs> A large thud hits the front door. When the door is pulled open, a rather monstrous wolfman comes stumbling in, rubbing his forehead. Have no fear, Alan's here. You forgot that it was a pull again? My work. 
quiet. Don't make this a bad first impression in front of our new employee. Where is it? I'm right here. Oh, the rumors are true. A human in the flesh. It is an honor to get to meet you. Uh, name? Uh, his name is Zack. Yes, yes, Zack. Uh, thank you for coming to work at Hunter's Bar. We all have tall hopes for someone of your skill and power. Uh, thank you, Alan. How polite. You must be a wolf charmer. I see hell roll her eyes. We need to prepare for opening. Oh, ye oh yes, but first, where's my breakfast? Cody is behind the bar and prepares a strong alcoholic beverage. <laughs> I can smell the potency from across the room. Alan grabs a large glass and downs it. How can that be breakfast? It lets out a belch that you could probably light on fire. Much better. Now he can start cleaning. Oh, how is everything already so clean? Because we have extra help, or did you forget? You already put him to work? How inconsiderate. Someone like Zack should be up on a pedestal. He shouldn't be doing peasant work. It's not a problem. I don't mind doing it. If I can help in any way, please let me know. Oh, I'll let you know all right. There is something in particular that needs some polishing. It's my... Oh, Jesus. Hell comes up from behind Alan and covers his mouth, muffling the obvious word. Alan tries to struggle out, but hell overpowers him. Their strength is intense, but they seem to bump a table and it slides across the room. The wrestling stops quickly after Hell wins. I thought you said you wanted to make a good first impression. Hell lets Alan go. He looks violated. True, alright. I'll compose myself. My breakfast is starting to kick in, so I can so I think so I can think straight. If only you could think straight. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Fishy fishy out of water! <laughs> Cody doesn't respond and goes back into the kitchen. i goes to the register and start putting money into the drawer. I keep cleaning with the tables with a cloth. Alan sits on a stool and nurses the bottle of beer. Um, in no time at all, we make the bar look very presentable. It's night and day from when I first came in. After organizing some of the hard liquor bottles, Alan, Al, Alan howls out. Looks like we're gonna, we'll be opening for business now! I want Zack behind the bar with me. I bet you everyone in this town will sh is going to show up tonight to see him. I know I would. Don't lump us in with you. Oh, baby, you wound me. If that was a wound, then why aren't you dead from all the other times I've insulted you? Because I sure can take the abuse. Know what I mean, Zack? From the kitchen, Cody yells, Don't indulge him! <laughs> I can't help but laugh. This is all quite funny to me. It's like when I walked into a onto a sitcom set. It's so surreal, but still funny. You were laughing? <laughs> yeah, you're all too funny. Look over at Hell. Her face was a bit sullen, but quickly changed it when she noticed me looking at her. Well, we're opening up now, so come on behind the bar. Don't worry about making too many mixed drinks. I can do all that for you. Hal goes to the front door and turns a sign to say open. She plugs the sign lights in and you can see the neon glow. In no time at all, the door swings open and a group of monsters come walking in. They immediately whisper to each other and point at me. Alan gently elbows me in the ribs. See, you're a hit. I knew it. Hey, look at this. This is cool. I mean, I don't see us anywhere, but that's cool. We got... It looks like a cat person and we got a bear person, a little... a boar... Maybe a f what the fuck? I don't know what those things uh, are in the corner. See Hell over there looking at the camera like, is it taking a picture? Taking a picture? <laughs> Let me get my good side. Uh, even though I'm at the bar, most of the monsters come up to Alan in order for from him. They seem scared to come up to me. I guess I am a hit, see, like seeing a tiger at a coffee shop. Yeah, it would be really cool to see, but you wouldn't want to get anywhere near it. They order drinks and I start getting used to which beers are on tap and which are in the bottles. Uh, uh. I take a look at the hard alcohol and memorize all the different types. There are some things I've never seen and or heard of before. I figures that some creatures would find other types of beverages to be equivalent to alcohol for a human. I turn and see Alan chatting to all the different creatures, laughing and eyeing me. It isn't subtle, but Alan notices and regains their their attention. After bed, Alan comes up to me when everyone has what they need. I didn't even notice it, but the bar has filled up quite nicely, quite quickly. So, this is Hunter's Bar. How are you holding up? Are all these monsters scaring you? I'm fine, man. 
No, not really. This isn't so bad. You're already a pro, I see. I like experienced creatures. I'm not experienced. All these creatures are new to me. In fact, uh, this is all still new to me. It's perfectly fine to be nervous your first time, so eventually you won't be so sensitive to it all. I'm not desensitized yet. That, or you could drink and become numb to it. Speaking of drinks, Alan grabs a bottle of alcohol and pours each of us a shot. I haven't had the time to go get to know you yet, and I really want to get to know you, so to loosen up, why don't we have some social lubrication? I mean, sure, why not? I mean, it's just a shot. Of course, my alcohol tolerance is like way fucking more than most people's. I take like 15 without feeling anything. I take the shot and we toast our glasses together. I down the strong alcoholic beverage with Alan and I have to hold back a face. Too strong for you? Didn't know humans were, st were that affected by alcohol. Well, yes, there must be a lot of things you don't know about humans. Ain't that the truth, sadly. But don't you know anything about wolfmen? Actually, I don't. So, can I ask you a question? I love questions, ask away! Werewolf, what is this town? Do you drink while working? How's work, how is work going? I mean... I don't want to ask if he's a werewolf. I don't want to be racist. So, uh, so how's it going? So how's the bar running? Is business good? I don't know. Ask Hell or Cody. Wait, don't you run this place? Yeah, but I'd rather have fun and then be held down by responsibilities. Although getting held down seems like fun. Uh, I mean, what does this place do? Duh, serve food and beer to the workers of the town. That it? Well, of course not. We do a lot more than, than, that, than just that here. It is much too early to talk about that, though. What is uh, much too early to talk about? You're new, so don't be surprised if things seem shady. Let me guess, backroom dealings? You can say that twice, but that isn't the main attraction. Main attraction? It seems we got a new one here just recently, so we'll be getting new guests wanting to get to know you. I'm sure you've probably already seen a few of them watching you. It's not every night we get us a human. Don't try to be chatty with them, it's good for business. Or do try to be chatty with them, it's good for business. I thought you didn't care about business. Not this business, but that business. Wait, what business? I don't know anymore, I need a drink. <laughs> Alan goes up to, the, to a boar sitting at the bar who orders a beer and mush. He smiles at me and he looks familiar. Is that the officer boar gruff? I get a beer for him and he, uh, and he nods at me. Alan and the boar drink together quite heavily. I can tell all that alcohol is starting to hit Alan, but it is barely phasing the boar. I see in the corner of the bar a snake-like creature and it also seems somewhat familiar. He just stares at me with a scowl. Might be his normal expression? Who knows, when it comes to all these creatures I don't know what to think. The night continues and the boar officer scare and scared monster leave the bar. I get to know, I uh, get to get some more drinks ready for customers. Alan taps my shoulder and points to some, something trying to get my attention. Turn around to see a wrinkled old turtle without any kind of shell. He has a hard time sitting on a stool, but he waves me over. I head to him, and I am at the edge of the bar, away from anyone else. What the fuck? Hi there, welcome, what can I get to you? A shot of your favorite liquor. A shot of my favorite? Well, I like rum. And a shot of that, for me and for you. Uh, I don't think I can drink on the job. The total points to Alan as he is downing two shots at once. Well, I see your point. Also, I'm paying for yours as well, so don't worry. I leave and grab two shots of rum. I come back and we down it. I make a face, but the turtle is stoic. Right away, he opens uh, without a he opens without a, with a question. You're a human. You're much less imposing than I thought. I am sooth. Oh, so this is sooth. I do believe it said without a shell, but there's definitely a shell on this turtle. I've been uh, getting that a lot. Nice to meet you, Sooth. My name is Zack. I kinda... Wait a minute. For some reason, I kind of assumed this was a female. Uh, so I kinda gave it a voice that's up here, but... Now that it's Sooth, you know, I think I'll... Dump... I'll lower the uh, pitch a little bit. Nice name for a human. I'm glad... I'm glad to be able to see one and talk to one. Why is that? Is it because I'm supposed to be scary? 
I'm not scared of you, although the vast majority of this town is terrified. Your co-workers, Alan, Hell, Cody, they may all seem like they're happy you're here, but it's just a front. Many things in this town are a front, a mask. There are some dangerous, dangerous dealings in the back rooms of every establishment, and every smile. That doesn't surprise me. You seem rather knowledgeable. What can you tell me about this town? I could tell you a lot. There are so many secrets in this town that even I am still trying to unravel it all. Sadly, you're the brightest hope this town has. I am sorry, and I pity you. I don't think I'm any kind of bright hope. I'm still adjusting to all this. I know all too well that you're going to be having a very tough time in Blackgate. I know we've only just met, but I need you to promise me something. Well, I guess it depends. What is it? It will be revealed on the next episode! Oh, man! Woo! Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Blackgate. On the next one, we'll continue with the Allen route, but until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained unprofessional speaking for the voices in my head when I say until next time, fairly well. Bye, everyone! Boo-boo-coo-coo-coo-choo! Oh, man.